Hi everyone, in today's episode we are going to be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. What's that? Do I sound bored and disinterested to you? Well that's just how this game feels. My name's Eric, this is 3 Minute Reviews, let's get this episode started. As soon as I reached the game's main menu, immediately I started noticing problems. Aside from the rubbish splash screen, it was the completely stock music that took me by surprise. It just sucks. The Turtles franchises and games are known for having awesome and memorable music, but this is so uninspired. I swear, the game must have like four soundtracks in total and they are all rubbish. Constantly hearing the same music over and over again is one of the many boring stuff you will have to endure throughout this crap fest. The story consists of nine stages, which comprises of you platforming, battling foes, finding your next objective with Batman's detective mode, I mean turtle glass vision, and facing off against a boss. So let's talk about the graphics. For a current generation console, this looks downright awful. I mean, I would be disgusted if I saw this on a PS3 or 360. The turtles are boring to look at, the stage design is so dull, there are no destructible environments, and for a game that is basing its style from the comic books, it looks so mundane. There is even a lack of enemy variety. You only fight against a handful of different looking bad guys and in the later stages they recycle the exact same character designs but just make them harder to defeat. Even the cutscenes don't look right, they look like something from the days of the PS2. Even the turtles look- wait, wait, wait a minute, stop the timer, stop the timer! The music from this cutscene, why does it sound so familiar? Nah, it's just a coincidence. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, even the turtles look so stiff and have lines all over them to give the effect of a comic book, but instead it fails and looks more like a scribbled mess. The game just comes across as lazy. So lazy in fact that you can't even do basic things such as walking. The turtles just run no matter how much you move your analog stick, which is especially irritating in some of the platforming sections. Now you can play as any turtle you want and the computer AI plays the other three and honestly they fight all the battles for you. I am not kidding. You can just sit there and they will wipe out the whole area for you. Now when you are fighting massively over the odds and you actually need the turtles to help you out, they don't show up. After looking for them you eventually find that they've glitched out. Funnily enough, this is the one part where it would have been cool for all the turtles to fight side by side, but due to the stupid AI, they don't. Now the only thing you will have to participate in is the boss fights, and these are some of the lamest excuses for bosses I have ever seen. First of all, whenever you attack them, they don't even flinch. Instead, they just break through your attacks and you can't defend against them as the dodging mechanic is completely broken. Now I know what you're thinking, Eric, if it's broken, why don't you just hammer on the button and keep dodging the boss's attacks? Well, the answer is quite ridiculous. If you try to dodge a few attacks, the turtles get dizzy. That's like saying Batman gets dizzy from gliding around the city, or Superman gets dizzy from flying too much. Dodging is what they do, they are ninjas! Also, I haven't told you the most absurd part of the bosses yet. Do you see that 7 out of 7 above the boss's head? Well, that means he has 7 energy bars. Seriously. And if you think that is dumb, this piece of shit had another 7 after I beat the first 7. The game has nothing to offer you, especially in the last half, as all you do is go down sewer after sewer and fight waves after waves of overpowered enemies that don't even flinch when you attack them. I did not even have a second of enjoyment throughout this entire game. This was just a cash grab that Activision wanted to coincide with the release of the movie. It's unfinished and by far the worst Turtles game I have ever played, and that's why it gets a well-deserved 1 out of 10. It's just a joke, and I would even go as far as to say it's one of the worst video games I have ever played. Now you might be thinking that I am being too harsh with my score, but honestly, I don't even know which demographic I can recommend this to. Is this seriously meant to be for kids? Oh, it's rated 12, so I guess not. But this is so childish for even 12 year olds. Take my advice, save your money and get a game that's actually worth your hard earned cash. Like the upcoming Mirror's Edge Catalyst which will be released next week, and my review will follow soon after. Until then, I will... Aha! Whoa. 
Until then, I will see all of you on the next episode of 3 Minute Reviews.